Hi, I'm Ken Ham, President of Answers and Genesis, the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. And we're down here at the Ark Encounter today. Actually, by the look of uh, what I see on the app our IT department have provided for us, I think we'll get probably 4,000 or more people here today at uh, Ark Encounter. This is uh, the days following Christmas. And yesterday we had over 4,000 people here at the Ark. And let me see, I think it was uh, 4,500 people at Christmas Town at the Creation Museum last night. And so it's become a very busy week actually for the time after Christmas. And behind me you, you see the Ark there. Uh, there's lots of people in there right now, people coming on the buses. And this is our final uh, week of Christmas Town as well for the Creation Museum, which is from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. So that's tonight. Wednesday night and then Thursday night then Friday night will be the last night and for each of those three nights uh, we have the Christmas lights here at the Ark and from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. you can get into the Ark for half price uh, from that time 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Well I'm here with the Ark in the background you can also see him Zara's kitchen over here as well and I have with me uh, Joe Boone who's the Director of Advancement and we want to share something about what's going to be happening here uh, the expansions that we're doing here at the Ark for summer next year. Now we're standing on a, a stage right now and Joe uh, you're here with me on this stage and although it might not look like uh, this is um, going to be ready, it's going to be ready. Actually the hardest part of anything is putting in all the infrastructure, getting the electrical in, the plumbing and the gas lines and, and getting all that ready and they've done that and now that the rain has stopped yeah. uh, they'll be getting on with the structures which don't take a long time to put up. We're going to have a blacksmith shop over here uh, actually where you see that area and it'll be a working blacksmith shop and then we're going to have a wood carving shop uh, over uh, behind us as well and then there's going to be other buildings here with specialty food items uh, that people will enjoy and we're going to have some programs here on this stage. In fact, we're doing a program right now. Would you like to sing? No, <laughs> no you don't want to hear me sing. You don't want to play guitar or something <laughs> no. up here right now. But uh, we will have uh, people doing that sort of thing here. We'll have some performers yeah. and other things that are going on here on this stage, this outdoor stage. And they do that sort of thing at Dollywood and Silver Dollar City right. and so sort of the same sort of thing here. Uh, and we'll have some uh, country music and all sorts of interesting things. We have lots of people uh, who want to come and do things for us here at the it's Ark Encounter. It's exciting to see how much has been done already. I mean, this it was is. a big hole that right. was here that had to be filled in and a lot of excavation. So they've done an incredible amount of work in and, a short period of time. And, you know, our theme for next year is Think Bigger. And that's the theme for the Ark right. Marketing Program yes. is Think, think Bigger. Mm -hmm. And we just released... In fact, we sent out an email to some of our supporters last night and we just released a brand new television commercial and that television commercial will start appearing today, in fact mid-afternoon I believe, on some TV networks, uh, but it's going to be increasingly on TV networks across the nation and on internet sites and that as well. And you can actually go and see that commercial. I think it's the best, in fact I think it's levels above anything that our marketing agents have done before. I've said it's equivalent to what you'd expect to see if you're watching the Super Bowl and you see all these brilliant advertisements, it these is. brilliant commercials. And right at the top of the comments, uh, first comment, we're going to pin a comment in there with a link. And you can go on that link and it's to our donate page. And we want to talk a bit about that too while you're here, Joe, yes. uh, on our donate page because this is the last week of December. That's right. Of the year. The big the big final push. The big final push because people are thinking about their end of year giving and we're getting to that uh, stage because we're getting closer to January 1. In fact, right. how, many, how many days we got to go? Well, Saturday is the last day of the year, December 31st. Okay, midnight. so Saturday midnight. It's, it's Wednesday right now. Saturday so midnight. Just a few more days. Now, left. now, some of our supporters have said to us, okay, how much is this expansion going to cost? Well, it's not just here. Uh, also, right. behind the arc, between the arc and the current zoo, whole expansion. we're expanding that whole area 
uh, expanding the zoo. It's going to have a lot more teaching on kinds that'll coordinate with the teaching in the ark on kinds and kinds, yes. how Noah could fit the kinds on the ark. He didn't need all the different species. The Hebrew word min for kind, we would say, is equivalent to the family level of classification in most instances. And we're going to have more animals, some really unique animals. We're going to have live animal programs. We're going to have a stage over there too. They're building a stage like this one there to have live animal programs. Yeah, it's going to be really engaging. And uh, it, it really is. And so uh, we have uh, well, a total of $3.5 million to raise. That's right. That's a lot less than when we set out to raise money to build the ark, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And about $100 million less. Why don't you tell people about the matching gift offer? Because we would really encourage people to prayerfully consider helping us with these expansions. And one of the reasons we want to do these expansions, we opened July 7 this year. Mm -hmm. Now, we've had half a million people through the ark. That's right. But we missed most of the busy spring and summer. That's right. Uh, and then because we opened... July 7 and nobody's ever sure you're going to open on that time. A lot right. of the, the big tour groups and others uh, were counting on next year because you know this year was basically okay let's hope they do get open. Well we did on July 7 and it was a busy summer but the group bookings we've seen indications are it's going to be much much busier for next year. That's right. In fact bookings are heavy for March. We've even got some group bookings in January and February which sort of surprised me because <laughs> that that's winter and this week I mean look at the, today I, I'm, I'm projecting over 4,000 people today, as they were last night here uh, at the Ark. But um, tell us about the matching gift offer. Well, we're, we're excited about it. So we've had several supporters come together and offer uh, around a total of $1 million that they've pledged to match any gift that is made to the Ark through December 31st. So that will allow us, with the match, if we are able to take full advantage of that million dollars, to raise $2 million towards that three and a half million dollar goal before the end of the year. So that's an exciting opportunity. You can go online. And in fact, uh, you can see the link in the pinned post uh, that's on this Facebook Live. That's right at the top of the... Okay, we just uh, had a little uh, phone glitch there. That's right. You know, I don't know what it is. You can have a really good signal and for some reason you know, uh, it's it's all those demons in the in the computer <laughs> systems and phone systems. Okay, <laughs> go right. ahead, Joe. Let's say that again. Yeah. So we have a million dollar match before the end of the year. Any gift that you make uh, before the end of the year will be matched dollar for dollar up to that one million dollars. That'll allow us to raise a total of two million dollars with the match towards that three and a half million dollar goal. Those gifts need to be made before. Uh, the end of the year before midnight on December 31st and you can go online there's a link uh, at the post that's pinned at the top of the Facebook live uh, and you can see that link and go to it learn more about the expansions and things that are going to be done uh, on that link. Yeah in fact I'll see some illustration of the two main expansions that we're doing ready for next year and that is the outdoor village here and then the zoo expansion and people from anywhere can use a credit card too, can't they? That's to right. Uh, they're online. And in America, this is a special time of year because this is when most non-profits actually raise the bulk of their funds. That's it's right. It's basically in the last week of the year. <laughs> it is. Uh, because people <laughs> are looking at their taxes and uh, they get a tax deduction. Uh, people looking at donating stocks. That's and right. Right now, stocks have gone through the roof here in America. That's right. <laughs> so uh, it's a good time for people to do that, actually. That's right. They can. They can do that. They can donate uh, what they call appreciated assets, stocks and other things like that that are appreciated in value. You can donate it to the ministry, and you can uh, avoid having to pay the capital gains tax on the sale of it. Um, you donate it to us before the sale. And we sell it, and we get the cash, and therefore you don't have to pay the tax on the capital gains. So another savings opportunity for you if you're thinking about donating uh, in that way. And, you know, uh, Joe, the prediction was we get a minimum of 1.4 million people uh, to the ARC in the first year. And uh, I tell you, with what we've seen already, and we only had a little part of the busy summer, and then when you consider next year, I think, it, it, you know, our prediction is going to go way over the, the minimum uh, 1.4 million and it's only going to increase from there and I don't know many other Christian outreaches public outreaches like this that can reach that many people I mean it's absolutely incredible and then you put it that is. together with the Creation Museum actually the Ark opening has doubled the attendance at the Creation Museum 
and we've seen that continuously. We've been actually actually amazed at the numbers in October. That's right. And uh, then November, we expected them to drop off, and, and they did, uh, but not even to the extent we thought. And then uh, now Christmas, and people are traveling on their way home and right. so on from having Christmas with friends and relatives and family, and this week has just been a, a blowout week for us here <laughs> uh, at the Ark and the Creation Museum. January and February, of course, will be slower. Right. And, hey, that's a good time, that actually. That is a good time. If you're in come. the area and you want to come to the Ark and the Creation Museum in January, February, because it's winter and people aren't on vacation, we don't have all the massive groups coming uh, that we do that start kicking in uh, from uh, March onwards. But uh, if, if, our, if our phone signal holds up here, we hope it does. And it's very muddy out here because we've yeah. had inches of rain, Yes, actually. <laughs> uh, so we're going to try and tromp through the mud and go up onto the second deck of Mzara's up there, and then we'll just show them where the zoo expansion is going to be, get a unique uh, visual of the ark here, and uh, I'm going to try to... I'm going to walk the plank. Is this what they call walking the plank uh, to come down here? And uh, <laughs> I have to be careful that I don't go too fast and our videographer falls off or something into the mud here. So, uh, Joe, as we're, as we're walking over here... Uh, oh, Joe's still walking the plank. I have to wait for him. Okay. Here he comes. Uh, so, as we're um, walking over here, um, I mean, you're head of advancement and uh, <laughs> responsible for heading up uh, the department to you know, raise the funds uh, for Answers in Genesis, the Creation Museum and the Ark. And I was just looking at the thermometer before, and you said uh, we've got that matching gift up to a million dollars, so we could raise, what, two million dollars with the matching gift, and we're trying to raise three and a half. Right. Am, I, am I right on that? That's right. And I just looked at the thermometer, and we're up to almost a million, is that correct? Yes, we're approaching a million on that. So we're about halfway uh, to reaching that uh, end of year goal for the matching gift for the matching gift and of course uh, we want to raise three and a half to actually complete uh, these projects uh, yes, these two right. projects we, we uh, really want to raise that uh, before uh, the springtime so that we'll have the funding in place to complete uh, these expansion projects I got a question for you uh, could you tell me why my shoes feel a little heavier right now? <laughs> it's that Kentucky clay sticking to the bottom of your Oh, feet. okay. Well, I just feel like I'm pulling lead weights along here right now. I'm not even game to look back at Maria because she's just had to follow us. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that Kentucky clay. Oh, man, that's sticky. Uh, so we're gonna, how are we going to get up on Amzara's with clay feet like this? It'll, we'll have to, clay. That's we'll have to, biblical, isn't it? We'll have to have the cleaners come in. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so this is fun. Yes. Trampsing through all the mud here. And let's get around uh, the safety fence that we have here. This stops people coming in. Let's see how we go here. All right. So we're going to go up on the second deck of Amzara's. And we're going to cart all this mud up with us. Yes. And, uh, okay, we'll just have to tell the cleaners, sorry about that, yeah, but duty calls, That's right. so uh, see how we're going. How's the signal, Maria, doing okay? A little weak. A little weak, we haven't cut out yet? No. Good, we'll keep going while we can, see how we can go up here. Hey, we're getting higher, shouldn't the signal be getting stronger? <laughs> Okay, you can see out there where we just were. You can see the stage uh, that we're standing on right in the middle of that area. See the brand new retention pond they just built. The big dam that they built here and put a road across that dam. That'll eventually for vehicles to get in and behind uh, Mzara's restaurant. So that's where the outdoor village is going and they've got all the infrastructure in, which is good, which means the rest of it can, it'll, it'll really take off. It doesn't take them long to build those buildings. I saw how they built the zoo so quickly. And you can see here, uh, actually on the other side, where you see that fence, and that's on the other side of the lake, we're actually going to be building an east village over there. Now it's not going to be open for summer next year, although they said if they really get advanced on the uh, west village out here, they will start working on that as well. And that's going to have a lot of teaching. They're doing these 
big stones with all sorts of information on them that'll go in down there and plus uh, some aviaries and uh, some other interesting features. Now over here, now the, the outdoor village we we're just at, the west one, and the zoo expansion are going to be open for summer next year. The zoo expansion is behind the arc here. You see those tractor trailers there? You see some heavy equipment over there? And that whole area from the tower at the back of the arc you see there, all the way through to one of the barns, you see the camel barn out there, that's going to be uh, a zoo expansion with a lot of teaching regarding kinds and a stage for special outdoor animal programs. So they're going to have two outdoor stages. And so we're excited about these expansions. That'll help get a lot of people outside as well to help lessen the, uh, the, the, the crowds inside the Ark all at the same time. We're also doing some modifications to one of the exhibits. There's been a big bottleneck in the Ark and that's the uh, pre-flood exhibit. So we're going to do some major uh, construction work there and we're, we're actually changing that and taking some of the beautiful signage and putting it in a separate exhibit uh, so that we can take the pressure off uh, that area. So we, we watched how the crowds go through the arc and we saw where the bottlenecks were and so we're working on that. Uh, the gospel movie, uh, right now we're playing The Last Adam. We, we actually cool. put in two uh, theatres in the arc, uh, in the stern on the second deck and the third deck and we're playing, playing The Last Adam right now but we have a new gospel movie coming that will be here at the end of January, so I'm told. So, you're so I'm told, yeah, end of January. You never trust artists, so I, I found that out. Uh, so, uh, and then at the bow here, if you look at the bow on the third deck, there's a massive exhibit going in called uh, The Bible is True and the Doors of Scripture. And it is a massive exhibit. I'd say compared to any other exhibit in the ark, it's, it's, it's going to be the biggest exhibit and one of the most impactful too because it's... It's artwork, um, almost life-size, of these college students and a college student that's witnessing to these others and they're asking the typical questions typical you hear questions. today and uh, witnessing to them and the answers that are given and and it's like it's like reading a, a, a story, story, you know? Yeah. And uh, then the doors of scripture and it's going to present the gospel in a very, very uh, powerful way. So Joe, as we uh, look back here at the uh, zoo expansion over here behind the ark, again and then the outdoor village expansion which you can see as well underway. The zoo expansion they're already working on the plans and there's already a lot of infrastructure in there and so they're going to get that done pretty quickly. Yeah, you can see the illustrations online, online at the at the donate page if you go to that link. You can see that. So if they go to the uh, top comment that mm -hmm. should be pinned on there uh, you'll see a link and then you can see our new TV commercial that launches yes. today. It's absolutely brilliant <laughs> it and brilliant. I mean it really is. I've already had people tell me they watch the commercial and their kids, their young kids, yeah. want to watch it over and over and over and over and over yeah. again because they fall in love with that little girl. Yeah. And because uh, the boys like the little boy and his, 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 the, the way he acts yeah. and so on. But kids just love it. And I found that uh, with uh, one of our own daughters, I, I sent her the ad uh, this morning and she showed it to her two little girls and they just want to watch it over and over and over <laughs> and over again too. Uh, so out here you see the outdoor village uh, area. The tent by the way is here for the Christmas week. Um, that's here until Friday and that has a lot of extra fair trade material in it and I can smell, um, what do they call those things? Funnel cakes or something? Yeah, I, I, uh, you, you can smell it up. Corn. And, yeah, things. Uh, you can smell it from up here and it's making me hungry. Uh, but you can see the expansion, see the work we've already done, that infrastructure. Uh, that was major, major work and now it's just a matter of getting those structures up. You can see they've already planted a lot of trees and they've got a lot more to plant. It's going to be a beautiful area when those trees spring to life in spring. Uh, so again, uh, tell us about the matching gift and if anyone has any quick questions while we're here, uh, down here at the Ark, uh, you can see people milling about, coming and going and of course the Ark can have thousands of people inside and you, you wouldn't even know they were here. Uh, but uh, people are just coming and going and walking around. It's a beautiful day considering the bitterly cold weather we've had yeah. and the pouring rain we've had. Look at that beautiful sky. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's a beautiful winter's day today and we're right on a ridge here and you can sometimes get a cold wind but it's not too bad, is it? No. Uh, it's, it's not bad at all. Yeah, you look out here, you don't, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people, 
but inside the ark there are <laughs> thousands. I, know. I came in through and just parked in the parking lot about half an hour ago, and half of the parking lot, which is an enormous parking lot, right, is four thousand cars. <laughs> yes, yeah, four thousand cars. And average is four people per car. So I mean, if we filled the parking lot, that'd be sixteen thousand people. <laughs> oh, no. So we obviously built right. the parking lot for the future. In fact, we we're only going to build half that parking lot, even a little less, uh, but. Uh, remember when the oil prices dropped? Yes. It, it saved us hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to blacktop everything, uh, the whole, right everything yeah. and that's what we did. So we got a wonderful parking lot ready for the future. Um, asked, how cold is it? And how cold is it? Total attendance for the Ark. Well, since July 7, uh, we've had about half a million people here, mm -hmm. and considering we missed most of the busy summer, uh, our projections with all the groups and so on, uh, within our first year, we're going to go over 1.4 million, uh, the minimum. We'll be between 1.4 and 2 million, uh, which is absolutely incredible for a Christian facility like this. And it's only going to increase. In fact, projections indicate it'll increase each year. Uh, continue to do that. It will increase for five years, the research shows, if we did nothing. But we're already expanding. And uh, we, we already designated the places beyond where those buses are. Beyond that, we're going to build a 2,500 seat theatre. And we're looking at the plans for that. And we'll raise funds for that. Uh, and then uh, the whole wall city. And then beyond that, uh, a Tower of Babel. Uh, so, uh, again, t tell, us, uh, tell us about the matching gift offer that we have. Because we've only got till Saturday midnight for this. That's right. Saturday at midnight, all the way up to midnight, you can make gifts online uh, that'll count towards the match. It's a million dollar match. Uh, so every dollar that's given will be matched with a dollar uh, from these generous supporters up to a million dollars. That'll be a total of two, two million dollars. And we're, we're up to the one million mark almost. That's oh, right. I, I'm not sure what it is right now, but I, right. I look before close. it's close to the one million mark. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people give in the last three days. Absolutely. It's in fact on the last day. It's a, you know the procrastinators come through, <laughs> and uh, it's amazing how much will come through just in the last day. But. Uh, Feel free to go online uh, anytime and uh, make your gift. We are a nonprofit organization, right. and like any nonprofit, uh, we're very dependent on donations for uh, what we do. And particularly, I mean, a place like the Ark and the Museum, the entrance fee pays the day to day running cost, right. but oh. not the new exhibits. That's right. And new exhibits or new facilities, we, we need to raise uh, capital funds for. And uh, so we're really stepping out in faith here as we started the expansions of the outdoor village and the zoo and uh, trusting that uh, those funds will be provided. Again, go to the comment at the top. Uh, we've had pinned there, and you can go to that link, and it'll give you all the information, show you some illustrations of the expansions, what we're doing here. Not only that, but uh, you can see our brand new television commercial, 30-second television commercial for our Think Bigger campaign. That's we've right. launched our Think Bigger campaign for the ARC, and we've got a, a brand new campaign for the museum coming soon too, and we've got some brand Exciting. new commercials for that. Uh, but this is an intriguing commercial. I, I really do believe it's a quality of what you'd expect yeah. during the Super Bowl, that sort of quality. It's, it's phenomenal. Our marketing agents, uh, Joseph David Advertising, have done an incredible, incredible job. I think, I think it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant campaign. Uh, so. Uh, Joe, uh, here we are on the second deck of Mzara's, and we look out. This is an incredible complex, isn't it? It's beautiful. And uh, I, I, I just, you look at it. It really is a miracle of the Lord. I mean, when you when you think about uh, uh, the step of faith that we took. Hey, you know, what we, you know, the the Think Bigger campaign is not just think bigger about the Ark. It's really challenging all Christians. Think bigger. The reason we built the Ark and the reason we built the Creation Museum was to reach more people with the message of the Gospel. I mean, these are unique in the world, themed attractions to get the message of God's Word and the Gospel out. I mean, I've had many people say they never thought it could be done. That's right. And you know, the thing about the Ark, too, that's exciting is that uh, the more and more people we reach, the research has shown uh, that a lot of the people who come to this are unchurched. And uh, so it's an exciting opportunity. Uh, to reach more people with the truth of God's Word and the Gospel message. Hey, you know what, I just did an interview this week uh, with a reporter with a news service who said, who's talking to two of his friends uh, who said uh, they were here at the Ark and saw these two people and then happened to meet up with them later on uh, somewhere, they recognized them, uh -huh. and these two people were not Christians, but apparently they were so challenged by the Ark that uh, they did uh, commit their lives to the Lord. Oh, and we're starting to hear more and more testimonies like that. We've heard that sort of thing about the museum a lot uh, over the years as well. So, uh, Maria, any more questions that have come up there? Um, how many workers do you have? How many workers? Okay, so that depends on the time of year. <laughs> and it depends whether you're talking about full time, part time, seasonal, whatever. But, uh, w w and, uh, 
during the summer we had counting the museum and answers and genesis offices and the ark it was about 740 people so it was pretty well <laughs> full time <laughs> and and when you think of that i think oh <laughs> that's a lot of people to look after uh, it really is now right now it wouldn't be as many uh, although we're a little we, we've been working hard to get some seasonals in here this week because it's so busy uh, we have volunteer but, help too. Oh, can volunteer. How many volunteers are the thousands and oh, thousands, thousands and thousands of volunteers. of volunteers? Thousands of them, uh, without which a place like this just couldn't uh, be run. Hey, Maria, have a look at that down there. See how he's getting a picture. <laughs> I like that. He's like trying to get a picture of the people at the ark in the background. And it's so big, he's down there on the ground. I think that's classic. I've seen people uh, do that sort of thing. Uh, tonight, this will all be lit up and it's lit up in the rainbow colours. Oh, did you notice I, I did an article on taking back yes. the rainbow? And it's got quite a bit of attention. Got a lot of attention <laughs> and got in secular newspapers, even in British newspapers, yeah. and humanist groups took it all up and they're all mad at us and angry at us. And I said, hey, the, you know, God's covenant of the rainbow. God said, right. this is my covenant. I'll never send a, uh, another flood again. And uh, so uh, they're claiming that, you know, that how, what right do we have to take the rainbow back? I can do it because you know it's 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 the gay movement that claims a rainbow. Well, I got news for you. It's in the Bible, uh, right there in Genesis chapter nine. Uh, we have the covenant of the rainbow. So, any other questions, Maria? Everyone else? Um, not showing. Yeah. Sometimes um, what happens is, and I, some of you ask questions, but for some reason, sometimes when we do these broadcasts, the comments just stop showing up on the phone, and then we can't see them. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Uh, I think it's one of those Facebook glitches, yeah. if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, I think we've got a lot of comments there. And I see, uh, oh, somebody asked what temperature it was. Um, I think it's in, uh, hang on, uh, 43 right now. Okay, it's 43, yeah. but with the wind chill, uh, probably probably feels like the 30s or something. <laughs> the sun <laughs> makes I, it warm too. Hey, the sun makes it warm. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I was down there with my wife before, standing in the sun, and we actually felt warm. Yeah. We really did. Walking around here, it felt warm. Uh, so uh, that's what makes it. If we're in the in the shade right now, um, but look, I don't even my coat zipped up. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so if there's no other questions people have, hey, if if, if you're watching this, it is for right? oh yes, it is, yeah, the Ark is non-profit. Actually, it's sort of complicated, uh, but Anson Genesis non-profit organization and uh, Answers in Genesis owns the Ark right. and owns the Creation Museum. We actually, the Ark itself is set up as a for-profit uh, LLC. One of the reasons we did that is so that we could help the community with taxes and things, right. but because it's owned by a not-for-profit, the IRS uh, sees it as a not-for-profit. That's right, so and your donations uh, actually go to Answers in Genesis, Genesis. Yeah. and the Ark Encounter is an outreach of Answers in Genesis, part right. of our mission outreach to, uh, to so reach. that's why all donations are tax deductible that's right I know the secularists you know uh, they, they don't even understand these yeah. things and they don't understand how you know obviously we we work to set this up properly and legally right. and all the rest of it and they they make all sorts of false assumptions about all of that uh, but it is true that one of the reasons we set this up as a for, as a for-profit LLC is to help the community that's right we pay and, property uh, taxes here and support the community and uh, in fact just just on uh, uh, looking at the the taxes that come to the library and the school system mm -hmm. and so on, it's quite, quite, uh, quite a lot, yeah. and it'll it'll only grow over time uh, as as uh, property values increase and other, and development happens in this area as well. So, um, anything else, uh, Maria? Actually, if people go to my Facebook, they they can also see a previous post there. Uh, the Kentucky Inquirer came out today with an article, and uh, it, it's funny because basically. Uh, there are people bemoaning the fact that I mean the arcs opened and we had they haven't seen an increase in the number of bars in the area. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, a religious organisation is blamed for uh, people not building bars right. in the area. That that sounds good. Right. And uh, then apparently property values have gone up and and uh, then they're blaming they're us for about that. property values gone up. So one of the staff members said said to me, hey, they're blaming a religious organisation for bars not being built and they're blaming a religious organisation for property values increasing. Next thing, we'll get the blame for the Lindbergh baby kidnapping or something, you know. Um, it's just amazing. I, I tell you what else we did get the blame for uh, from the tourism group in northern Kentucky, and we're going to post that as a um, as a post uh, a little later too. We got the blame for hotels bringing in more revenue. 
because apparently their occupancy rate was about 70 percent because of the ark and the museum it's now 97 percent and, and uh, a lot of these instances so uh, we're getting the blame for that which is yes, a good blame that is a good uh, blame in quotes for that That's right. uh, which is really good uh, so any other questions Maria that people have there maybe they can tell us what country they're from too and uh, so we'll uh, end this broadcast here Joe and again encourage people hey this is end of year we make no apology about the fact that we're asking you to prayerfully consider supporting Answers in Genesis the Creation Museum the Ark Encounter tax deductible donations stock gifts That's right. um, and other gifts other gifts you can even give cars uh, mobile phones well, you got a new mobile phone got the old one you can go online, click on the non-cash donations, and it'll show you how to make a gift of your old cell phone or iPad oh, right? or whatever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, and, of course, this is when most nonprofits get the bulk of their donations, uh, right. basically in the next few days, uh, until midnight on Saturday. Uh, if, they, if they do it online and if they're sending it through the mail, they need to have it postmarked before the 1st of January. That's right. And uh, they go to the top comment. Uh, there you'll see a link, you can go to our donate page, you can see all the information we have there about the expansions we're doing at the Ark. And we're also doing expansions, by the way, at the museum. We're building a big new car parking lot as well, it's another big step of faith, uh, to accommodate a lot more cars, because we, we realise next summer, well, I mean we struggled this past summer, but we have to have more yeah. parking. We just yeah. have, That's a good problem to have, It is actually. a good problem. I like Thank those sort of problems. So, okay, so we're going to sign off from the Ark on this beautiful winter's day. It really is. Look at the people just walking out around there and enjoying it, even though it's you know, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, look, it, it just feels warm because of all the sun, the blue sky, and uh, I love to see kids running around, walking down to the zoo and back. Uh, it's just uh, just a beautiful day. It's going to be like this, I think, most of the week this week. So that'll be really great. And again, if you're in the area and you want a low time to come when the when there's not as many crowds here, January, We're February, February, January, here, February are the, will be the two lowest months of the year. Yeah. And we haven't experienced a January, February with the Arc yet, no, so we, we really don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. I do know that there are a number of groups booked in, which I was sort of surprised at, but there are. Uh, so. And most of what you're going to experience is indoors. Well, the, the yeah, we've got to remember that. This is an indoor attraction. I mean, each deck is one and a half times the length of a football field. Right. So it's like three major attractions in itself, all indoors, beautifully warm. Right. We have uh, natural gas heat, yeah. and the whole place is so warm inside. So you, get, you come to the parking lot, you get into a warm bus. Right. You come over here, you get into a warm arc, <laughs> That's right. and then leave and get into a warm bus and go back to your car, right? right. Uh, so, and the same for and the museum. And the restaurant. And the restaurant, yeah, because it's all heated, of course, two-story restaurant. And our new buffet that we have, which is really great food. And then the same for the museum. The museum, right. the awesome. main attraction is indoors, and it's all warm. So see, winter's a great time to come. That's why we keep these attractions open. A lot of other attractions have to close down in winter around here but we don't, right. uh, because they're indoor warm attractions. Okay, with that, uh, <laughs> do you see Maria's hand shaking there? <laughs> it looks like it's frozen in place. Is that frozen in place, Maria? No. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to uh, end off here. And uh, you have a great day. Have a blessed day. And pray about uh, what you can do to help uh, our end-of-year support uh, get these expansions done. And go to the link you'll see in the top comment there. Uh, to our donate page and watch our new commercial and hey let us know what you think of the new commercial okay signing off from the ark thank you